Security is tight in Charlottesville this weekend on the first anniversary of the deadly Unite the Right rally. Security is also tight in Washington, D.C., where white nationalists will march on Sunday to mark the anniversary. Ten of your side, Stephanie Harris is following developments as people prepare for the worst, but hope for a peaceful weekend. Absolutely. The D.C. police chief says that guns will be banned from the premises, even for those who have permits, and the white nationalists will be kept separate from those counter protests protesters in D.C. this weekend. Guns will be allowed, however, on the downtown mall in Charlottesville this weekend. That's all because of the Second Amendment. However, many other items will not be allowed, including knives, bats, and masks. There is no rally scheduled in the city, but a state of emergency has already been declared. Police are out in force. What you can expect to see and what you can expect to engage is a very significant law enforcement presence in our community. And that presence is here as a support to our citizens. Officers have a lot of work to do, not just in patrolling and protecting, but the mayor says in regaining the people's trust after the way they responded at last year's deadly Unite the Right rally. We have a lot of um, work to do to regain trust. And um, in that process, we have to ensure that the devastation that happened last year doesn't happen. Last year's rally, a car plowed into pedestrians who were protesting the white supremacist. 32-year-old Heather Heyer was run over and killed. A suspected neo-Nazi sympathizer was charged. Tensions remain high as the anniversary approaches. I would urge the citizens of Charlottesville and anybody else who is going to be visiting here is to continue to be vigilant. You can help deter some of these acts that might take place. Some aren't taking any chances. They're closing their downtown shops. We would prefer that we could be open and doing business as normal. The city is blocking off a majority of the streets into the downtown mall area. Pedestrians will have only two access points through two checkpoints the city set up. No one knows what to expect, and safety, the mayor admitted, cannot be ensured. So that there's a lot of, um, you know, fear and anxiety surrounding that. So they're preparing for anything and hoping for one thing. We're just trying to stay positive and hoping that everything will go well. White supremacists tried to obtain a permit to hold their rally in Charlottesville again this weekend, but the city denied it. The group then went to court to fight it, but later dropped the matter and decided instead to hold the rally in D.C. on Sunday. Look for more on how law enforcement is preparing in our nation's capital coming up at 530.